Hi, what up, man? Well, here we go again. Now we're gonna do a, a, a system, electric system for the tattoo machine and light for uh, an emergency case that you, the electricity gone went off or whatever, you know? So this is pretty much a, a battery of a car and using some lights, power supplies. I'm just gonna use the core from them. Stuff that you can get on the ice and, you know, uh, what they call them, thrift stores, whatever. Um, pretty much what I'm doing is just an emergency system, electric system, so you can finish your tattoo that you're in the middle of it. Or maybe maybe useful if you are like in the middle of the woods, man, you carry your battery with you, or hook up on your car, and you can tattoo right on the side of it. Whatever is best. Let's see how we do. The treasure of the poor and the garbage for the rich. We got electronic stuff, cords, everything out of this. Soldering iron, clamps, power supplies. I use just the cords, lights, clamps for the powers and, and the connectors, jacks for the controller. This is what I'm going to set the control set. It's a Halloween pumpkin. And I have the connectors and the reostep 35 ohms. That's what I use with 12 volts or 18. Okay, to start, I need the connector of the electricity. So I use just the tip of the cord. So I put it together. Solar in DC, that's the terminal that I'm going to use for the power supply. So then we just proceed to join the cord, put it all together. I use shrinking tubing for insulation, but I always like to twist them and maybe use a little bit of a soldering also, so that make it easier on the stain if it's any pull harding or hard work on it. Now with the insulation shrinking tubing, that make it really easy. You can use a hot blower. I like lighter. That make it faster for me. So this is the connector. We got it. Now the other end of the cord is gonna go to the battery. I need these clamps on. So we always make sure the wire is insulated. So put the insulation first. It's gonna be a pain in the butt later. You twist it with, and you can even solder it. Just make it last longer. So you got both ends of the cord: the power supply and the battery. Now we're testing lights. I'm using these lights just to see which one of them is better. And I find out that halogen kitchen lights are way better and brighter, still 12 volts. So I dispose the other one and to hold the bar the light together I use a galvanized wire and then I'm gonna weld solder in the ends of the wire and to the light. But remember to use the shrinking tubing before so that way you can insulate that weld the wire and then you put the insulation later it's not gonna work good it's bright enough so now this is how it's gonna hold the light in place with the wire I'm just gonna go around it be careful because it's glass you may break it so be soft and easy twist it around the wire and the cord and that will be to make it flexible and steady enough to hold the light I use the shrinking tubing to tie some of that stuff always use it lighter or you can use a hot, dry, hot dryer so I use a bigger piece of insulation and this is the clamps I'm gonna use to hold it see I twist it and tighten it and yeah it works and it holds it as sturdy enough so you can like direct it any way you want just test now to cover that electrical tape is pretty good to make it look better and hold the wire together with a cord See, that's too strong. So now we have the wire with the lights, the terminals for the battery, and the power of the controller. Now we're gonna put the set up the rheostat, the connector jacks for the phone, and the, the electricity plug. I decide to put the switch on the top, so I got to get a little bigger size. Be it on the top and the sides, I do the connectors. I like the Frankenstein look on it. So we got the holes, the knob control, the jack phone for the clipboard and the power on the back from behind. Okay, to make it easier and faster, I press all together the, the wires, the switch and the plug. So that way it will save me time. Now once you put it, you see, you have not enough space to work inside of it. So that's why you pre-solder those parts. You see this? I do it right from the center to the side of the jack so you don't do center center or side side because you will short circuit on it. So 
then we proceed to get the nuts and make sure they're pretty tight enough. Sometimes they come off after you use it for a while. Just remember, you can use it for anything. Now, I use uh, tweezers to hold some of the wires so I can have a space to put the solid and iron through it. See? Now I have the drills one ready. I'm just going to put all this stuff in it. Just make sure that, you see, you tie the this, this screw in the nut so it won't come off loose. You see, and make sure the direction is right too. You don't want to turn it in the other way and turn it off and off. You see, we some tweezers up again. Now pretty much seems like we got it now. Just make sure that all the parts are tied together and it's not missing anything. Make sure everything is connected too. Now we proceed to test, man. I hope this thing don't spark and start exploding and doing short circuits on us. Nah, I don't think so. So anyway, we have all the setup. Now we just put the ports on, and get into the battery, and let's see how it works. Yep, the light seems to be on. I'm gonna need a switch on it because it keeps on. I don't know. I need to turn it off and on. Okay. Yep, seems like it's working. Yep. Pretty good. No oh, shit, look. Eh? What do you think? So now we're gonna use, you see this? This is a jumper start unit. Or you can use a power supply regulator as long as it's 12 to 18 volts. You see this power supply is more powerful than the battery right now, the, the jump start. Because it's 18 volts. It's a little brighter and the machine goes faster. But and then I had need to put the switch on the light. So don't stay on all the time. Cut in one piece, one line, fill it off, and sold it in the switch on the side, that would be the best. Clean up all the excessive plugs, it's easy because you get rust. Once it's there, now we just proceed to insulate again with some of the electric tape. Alright, now let's try the battery, you see? It's a little slower, but it's still running good. Yeah, that's directly straight up from the old battery that I have in the garage just to test. And then uh, I find that the light on the popkin works, so I just put new batteries on and give it a little touch of a luxury or decoration to for the Halloween season. Look, huh? bright enough. Even for decoration, man. I never thought that it maybe work. You know, I got it for a dollar. Okay, so now let's try outside in the car, man. This is my van. Now we plug into the battery. The longer the cable, the better. So that way you will have uh, space enough to work far away from the car. But uh, okay, here is the pumpkin again. Now let's set it up. Yeah, it seems like it's working right. Lights on. Now let's see how it works. Man, this is powerful. That's a way better battery than the one on side. So yeah, I think you can hook up on the car too. And from there, you know, as long as you're far away from the car with a long cord, you can do it outside anywhere. And now at the shop, we gotta get this. Uh, we use uh, the battery, and I'm gonna hook up in it. You can use power supplies from computers or any kind of a power supplies that is 12 to 18 volts. As long as the plug-in in the back works, yep. Now let's try the machine. Yep, it works good. Yeah, look at see now let's see the light yep that works fine too so that way in case if you run out of electricity you can improvise this and use it in your house or shop or anywhere man pretty much you see it even looks like a good decoration then it happy halloween <laughs> so now uh, what also you can do this is all a system emergency that i did to demonstrate this is not to teach this is to demonstrate how i do it now you're smart enough, copy, good luck. Okay, you can even do the, this is the connected to a computer. Transformer. Yeah, it's 18 volts too. It works perfect. Yeah, and this is another one that I use as a control knob. As the, the same in the pumpkin. And this is the power supply complete because it has the transformer in it. You see? Well, I hope it works, man.